Okay, everybody. Commander left not here. Uh, one of my favorite things. Uh, I like the solder and all that wonderful shit. So, uh, I like to play with shit too, and electronics and whatnot. So, name of the game today is Component Recovery. A um, couple of USB, uh, 12 volt USB adapters, and card chargers for the cell phone. And they went, went and done took a shit. So, I figured, you know what? I'm going to take components off. As you see, I, already, I actually already took one apart. Um, and this little guy. This little guy right here. You fucker. Let's see. I got that oriented right. Yep. Come on. Focus. And no. No, you're not going to work on me. You're not going to work for me, are you? Oh, damn. Yeah, you are. Just enough, huh? Uh, this little guy is an ICF MC34068. Um, a, it's a boost buck, boost buck and inverter, depending on the components you have around it. Uh, so I'm going to take the usable shit off of the board, off of the board, um, right here. Right here we have a nice little board. We've got uh, we've got ourselves a non-replaceable fuse. Well, non-replaceable if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. We have the actual chip, the boot, the our boot bus, boot, bleh, boost buck converter. We have a 47 nano, uh, 35 volt capacitor. Yeah, this was designed to be in a car, so it's got to have the range. Now this guy is actually 10 volts, because you know this guy's only putting out 5 volts at uh, 8, 850 milliamps. This will actually uh, the, the capacity of this for amperage is 1.5 amps. Why they don't give it the max amps? I have no fucking clue. They're just fucking. Annoying. Oh, look, there's no nice little spot for a transistor. Okay, and we have a nice little inductor here, which uh, is very different from the one I took out of the last one. Hello! Now you can see that's the size difference of these fuckers. And this guy is quite a bit larger. Quite a few more rounds. Um, I don't have the equipment to test it, see what the hell it is but size wise yeah you could tell it's definitely a lot freaking different hey maybe I can turn off the auto white balance but I don't freaking know no I can't do that so whatever okay let's move all the other happy horse shit out of the way and get with the removing of the components with the fucking sledgehammer of a soldering iron that I have. Definitely grab the diodes, the LEDs, um, resistors and whatnot. Just because, I mean, even these little tiny fucking resistors. Yeah. I will grab those as well because I'm just ain't all like that. Oh, yeah. Come here, you. And then there goes the vape, the vape battery. I just actually recently put together a pair of um, Dell under speaker speakers or under monitor speakers um, to be uh, set for a mobile application. Basically, to be in, the, in a car that or a vehicle that does not have a radio, um, namely a bus, because <laughs> you know, pet my bus. And they may be little fucking five watt speakers, but hey, something is better than nothing. Let's start here with the um. Oop, get the get out of there. Let's start here with the fuse. 
And get this bad boy out. Let's see. Should I take the fuse or the resistor first? Can't quite decide. Uh, fuse. Okay, because he's got the biggest bob of fucking solder on there. Yep. And it was fun because I ripped apart the pre previous board. And, you know, quite a different setup to this board. Actually, physically larger. But it does the same job. This one was uh, an amp. This one's 850 milli. Eh, whatever. I mean, I think the, the uh, stupid fucking inductor has something to do with that, but... As yet, I don't quite understand the data sheet as much as I should to be playing with these uh, ICs. So we'll bring this closer. And one thing you will notice, I do not have a fume hood, so I am leather lunging it and just keeping my face out of the goddamn way, which uh, yeah, is generally a recommended thing when you're working with shit. Where it was solder and whatnot. And boop. Focus. Fucker. Okay, pop goes that. There we go. Now I can see what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, those of you might notice this is a, probably this is non-ESD fucking uh, soldering iron, and rightly I don't care because if I fuck something up, it was fucked up in the begin to begin with. There we go. Uh, I'm using a MVP 100 watt soldering gun. So eat the bloody fuck out of the board. And we have ourselves our nice little fuse. Pretty. Or is that a zero ohm resistor? Up to you to say. Up to me not to give a fuck. I'll figure it out. And we have our little resistor here. I want this guy. Definitely want this guy. So we'll flip him over. Uh, put this pointy bit underneath of the god. Put the pointy bit underneath where I want. What I want, should I say? Come on. Yep. There we go. Move him away from the IC a little bit more. Put the pointy bit where I want it, and use the camera to do the soldering. Ah, there we go. Pointy bits staying in there a little better. So, this is, you know, a first, first of a uh, video of this type. Oh, let me get this coil out. Let me get the inductor out. Because then I can get the diode and I can get other stuff and get it, get easier access. Um, yeah, not the most professional, but once I set up my space, then I will have multiple cameras and it'll be pretty. Um, and I'll be able to live stream it as well. Come here. Okay. So right here are these two pads. These are our inductor. And let's push, push, push. Yes, the my camera is my... Uh, God damn it. The phone, camera on my phone does get some um, noise in it because this... Uh, this soldering iron is noisy as fuck. Um, those of you who, you know, would complain about the not safe for work language. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this at home. So I don't care the type of language I use. And come on, come on. 
Come on, you little fucker. It's just simple. Heat the crap up. Pull the thing through. Heat the doo-doo up. And pull the thing through. Oh, well, that's not going to work. For that, anymore. Let me keep the focus correct. And the lighting. Uh, that's one thing I won't have to contend with once I get everything set up nicely. So, yeah, I got came out a little bit. So this way I can get my knife under him. Oopsie. <laughs> my wife's not going to like that one. Just got solder on her nice uh, little plate. Eh, it's plastic anyway. Fuck, that was hot. So. So I get my knife under it. Provide a little pressure. And the motherfucker just pops right out. Oh well. Heat, 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 heat. And I do, I will say, you, you, you gotta keep your friggin' face out of the smoke. I don't care who you are, what you think you are. Yeah, keep your face out of that smoke. Because it is not happy stuff. Okay. So there's our inductor just went pop out. Get him out of the way. And let's see, what should we take off of here next? Uh, should we grab the 10 volt diode, the 10 volt capacitor, or, ooh, it's 105C. Nice. Uh, four, what is you? Oh, wait a second, you're 16 volt. Ooh, I might like you, you're two. Fucking Camden doorbell. <sighs> I got a lot of people. 16 volt, 220 nano. Ooh, I'm, I, you know what? I want you. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you. So, with the grippy grippies. I'm gonna take this fucking shit out. I mean, this guy looks, you know, nice, nicely, he was nicely soldered. Until I, you know, until it blew up or did something that just stopped doing what it was supposed to do. So. Focus. And lighting, you dick. Okay, so on with the show. Uh, my phone decided, hey, I'm full. And you're not recording anymore. So, whatever. <laughs> Let us continue. Um, sorry for that. It was a nice little break. I had to delete all the backed up stuff. The one great thing I love about Google is once I'm done recording this, it gets uploaded and I can just share it from there. Let's see, 47 nano and 35 volt. I have some more goddamn light. Or something there we go so this guy here 47 nano to jump one second alrighty so screw it I am going to use the light on my camera to help to keep things kind of stable and it kind of helps you know, with soldering <laughs> So, yes, and it being my mobile, people are going to text and I'm going to p end up getting pissed off at them. So, eh, whatever. I do not care right now. So, take this. Boop of the nose. Okay. And this thing is completely freaking washed out. So I'm holding up the pliers and I'm applying a little bit of pressure down. So that when it finally lets go, 
it will just pop right out. And nice. Well, if the little one wakes up, then I'll have to end this, but that's okay. A little bit of pressure. A little scratchy, scratchy. I think I just fucking killed this capacitor, but we'll see. Getting the IC off of here will be interesting. Because I do want to use it. <laughs> okay, well, let me see. We have some good headway there. I should actually be able to go pop off, you fucker. Okay, maybe not. So, yeah, this is just me, some fucking chucklehead. I decided, you know what? I want to take this apart. Because I have rudimentary soldering knowledge make shit hot it melts I see I'm fucking up the pads and I just don't give a fuck as long as that capacitor doesn't get too hot I'm happy and then we'll have some fun with him we'll charge him with four volts and I'll stick him against my against my son's head see he's got how high he jumps because I have a 30 amp battery okay now what in the fuck is with you why are you not coming out yeah, this is probably the worst thing to possibly do with the soldering iron is or soldering gun should I say it is to leave the goddamn thing running come on come on out you bastard it's the negative leg that's holding it in. Scrapey, scrapey. Oh, pop out. Here we go. And failure to release. Okay, that's out. And that's out. Good deal. That, that's a usable component. Yeah, it didn't vent, so. It's a good thing. Okay, now we'll get C3 here out of here. And I may use a different, different tactic with this one. Put it in my little multi-tool here and make sure I got the right one. There's no sense in sitting there heating pads that have nothing on them. Yeah, you know, actually, there is sense. Tells me when my iron is hot enough. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to download it and I'm going to, yeah, you know, make the audio not so shitty, not so loud, kind of even it out because I don't have access to my normal headset. This is just an off-the-cuff thing. I decided to record this. And now that the movie's over, I'm happier because it is quieter in here. Okay. Uh, I have a camera range with you while I reposition. Okay. One leg, two leg. Okay. Kind of hold that a little tighter. There we go. I'm actually surprised how well this is doing. Okay, that. I'm surprised how well my phone is doing with this. Um, it's I'm using the highest quality my phone can record. It says it's 4K, whatever. YouTube's just gonna kill it. Kill it, fuck it up. Who cares? Um, this is going to be on, oh, well, nobody can see what the hell I'm doing. Well, I can see, nobody else can see. So, desolder this little guy, come on, now, off, off, and 
it slipped out again. So I got a little bit of leg there, and a little bit of leg there. So come on, off with you. And these are going to be uploaded at real time. I'm not going to edit them to make them shorter. The time you see spent is the actual time this took as I'm blushing around through this. So, I think I'll end up getting this resistor out. And you know what? I am going to open up my laptop here. And I'll be able to tell you the values of resistors and crap as I'm doing it. One second, let's see. Right there. Hey. Um, I'm using Danny Goodman's example of the resistor calculator. So this way it's a little, yeah, it's easy. I just put, put the colors in, it tells me what it is. A little toot of the deuce kazoo. And what we have here, we have orange, orange, Um, we say silver, silver, orange, orange, silver, gold. That is a 33, a third of an ohm. That can't be right. It's gotta be gray. There we go. That actually sounds a little bit better. 3.3. <laughs> Okay, that can't be right. What do you all think? Silver? Gray? Focus. And come on. Come on, focus. There we go. That looks silver to me. So it's a third of an ohm. Uh, that's funny. That's about what I use for my fucking uh, vapor. Uh, my fucking douche kazoo. Uh, actually, I'm using 0.25 ohms for it. And that is probably just to limit the rush because it's a mobile application. Um, you get transients and shit like that. And just, just dirty fucking, dirty power. I mean, sure. Car's nice, a nice 12 volts. Well, not really. So everybody thinks. Car, it'll give you, it'll, it'll jump up and down and up and down and get off there, you blob. I want to do something. That little blob of bullshit. <sighs> It'll jump up and down, up and down, between 12 and actually not normally 13 to 15 volts. And so things like this don't like that. So get the knife under the, under one of the tips and heat the bitch. Ah, there we go. And this one is going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass because it has a little curve as you can see it has definitely has a little bit of a curve to it and did i just poke through the resistor that'd be funny no it heated it enough that it slipped and now i can get my knife blade all the way under there come on yeah, I'm, right now I'm just using a uh, four-inch multi-tool. 
not anything special. Um, I usually have my the, the white crappy seal on it is a wax coating um, because I deal with a lot of box tape and wax a wax coating on a blade will cut will zip right through tons and tons of box tape. Okay, now where's the other side of that? And the other side of that's right there. Pop. That's how the capacitor was supposed to fucking come out. But it didn't. It wanted to be a bitch. Hey, back here. So as I'm doing things, you know, I actually do like using a multi-tool for Son of a bitch, that was hot. And I, hopefully I got that moron. And I just burnt the fuck out of myself. Okay. The capacitor was supposed to come off this easy. Boop. And there he is. We'll stick him here in the parts pile. And flip this bad boy over again. I will mind, I, I mind you, the, uh, the board is going to be hot. And you will curse and yell if you go ahead and you touch it with your fingers. Okay, I think I'll use...